Okay, so welcome to Majesty House of Music. Now, we've been doing our progression. One, four, one, five in the key of F sharp. But we've been uh, adding a few embellishments here and there. Uh, so today we are going to go to the next level. Uh, like you remember, we, we did something like... A a few embellishments here and there in part one and two so let's do part three now uh here i'm going to change the one chord i'm going to change the one chord slightly so that instead of just having a straight one okay so i'll have two chords on the one now you just listen and then um, I'll break it down. So something like... Did you hear that? So that's a new chord. So instead of you just playing the one and then the three, you can substitute it with those two chords on the one. So you can have something like... And then that takes you to the form. So what, what chord is that? It's like an E major 7 and 9 over the F sharp. Something like that. Uh, but I normally now play the F sharp and E on my left hand. And then I have A flat, B, E flat and F sharp on my right hand. So something like okay that's your one okay and then you are going to resolve you are going to resolve to so the left hand remains F sharp and E but now on the right hand you have G B flat E flat and F sharp so you have something like that so something like and then resolve okay so then resolve then to the two to the four i mean okay so one resolve then go to the four so uh, this is a normal four chord really it's just a b major seven so you have b E flat and F sharp on your left hand. Then on your right hand you have B flat, E flat and F sharp, okay? So Okay. Then Okay. I can give you something like that. Okay, so Yeah, I think that sounds better. So on your um, left hand, you have A flat and F sharp. That's your two and one. And then on your right hand, you basically have a B chord, but it's extended. So you have B, E flat, F sharp, and then B. Okay. So there. Basically what you do with the B is you invert it, yeah? So, so, so you, ex you invert it. So now you have E flat, F sharp, B and E flat, okay? So, okay, and then now you have this. So now on my left hand I have this chord, I have C sharp, F sharp, a flat and B flat. Okay. So I have that chord. So it's something like. Now, uh, on my right hand, I, I basically have these two notes. I have B flat and C sharp. But I'm bringing the B flat up from the A flat. Yeah. So I have. So 
so it's like I'm starting with A flat and C sharp, then I bring the A flat to the A and to the B flat, okay? So you will really have to train yourself to do that so that the C sharp doesn't move, okay? Okay, so Okay, so uh, let's do a recap. So you have your one. Okay, then you are two. Okay, so that's your recap. So. Uh, then let's do. Okay, so uh, now that's your two chord. You are two, but as a passing chord, yeah. So to realize I'm not even playing a two chord on my left hand. I'm having this straight on F sharp and C. Okay. Now, if you have a bass player, he'll play the two. So you'll have something like that, yeah. The A flat, F sharp, and C. But even if you don't have a bass player, you can always get away with it. Okay. So if you can play that extension, good for you. Okay, now that uh, complex movement. So you start with this E flat, A flat. Then you move the E flat up to the F. So. And you see the F flat doesn't move. So yeah. So you, you start with E flat, E F, and then you go back to to E flat, then back to F. So it's like okay. So So then you'll finish with this E flat and F sharp, okay? E flat and F sharp. So it's then you have that. So C sharp, F sharp, A flat. That's your five chord. And then you have B, E flat, and A flat, yeah? So... Then... All that is on the 5, so you have... Let's do a recap. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you, so... And then... that so you have C sharp and then you have F sharp B and E flat then you'll drop the F sharp to the F and then you'll drop the E flat to the C sharp so that so okay so that's your last chord and then you go back to okay so that was our first chord so you have That's just it. It's I've just given you some simple embellishments. We'll probably continue with this progression to the end of the year. So check out next Wednesday. Yeah, but as for today, that will be it. 
Uh, remember to check out our F sharp courses, the intermediate and the advanced courses. So you, you decide what gets to fit you. I'll put the links down here. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And yeah, I'll see you next Wednesday. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now there are just a few things I'd like you to do to help us spread this word and support us. The first thing is to go ahead and hit the like button below this video. Just go ahead and hit the like button. And the second thing you can do is to share this uh, video on our social media platforms, on Facebook, on Twitter. Just go ahead and hit the share button so that we help us to spread this message so that more people can get access to these lessons. And the third thing is that if you have been watching my lessons and you're not subscribed to my channel, please just go right ahead right now. Now, log into Google with your Gmail, okay? With your Gmail, your email address, log into uh, YouTube, and then hit the subscribe button so that you'll always be notified when I release new classes. And then the last thing you can do is to visit our website, majestieshouseofmusic.com, then click on the piano video courses, and you'll see a list of several longer detailed courses where I go much deeper into uh, these concepts, okay? So if you visit our website, you can order those courses there online. If you have a PayPal account, if you don't have a PayPal account, you can just send me an email or a WhatsApp message, and then we can communicate on how you can order the courses and how I'll deliver them to you as downloadable files. I'll simply send to you a link and you can download the course that you are interested in. So thank you for following this channel and God bless you. See you in the next class.